Olu and Joke Jacobs. This is your love story. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. This is the lady I am going to marry. Wow. <laughs> Those words rode majestically from his mouth when she walked in elegantly through the door. Call it love at first sight, because he was seeing her for the first time. How did he know that she was the one? Because to Uncle Olu, Auntie Jocke was not a joke. Was it the gorgeous beauty of Africa's movie queen? The alluring figure of the sparkling skin? Whose gait and luster has lasted the ages? Her glowing aura like the jewel of the sages. If she's this elegant, even in her 50s, then you can imagine her look in her 20s. And how she knocked out the veteran then in his 40s. And how did Brother Jero's metamorphosis become Uncle Jacob's matrimony? Was it the majestic power of his oratory? Or the magnetic force of his royalty? Was it the piercing eyes of the stunning height? The baritone or the manly pose? Maybe this and much more. For theirs was a match made in heaven, designed by God for his own pleasure. His invisible hand led her through the curtain, like it was back in the garden. And the words of Uncle Olu 30 years ago were like those of Adam thousands of years before, when the Creator brought to Adam all by himself the bone of his bone and the flesh of his flesh. Together these veterans have certainly ruled the world, in family, in art, in business, in all. May their model of love forever stay fresh, and may the rest of their years be better than the past. May their impact last beyond the present, and for generations may they be the reference for true love, for virtue, for faithfulness, for wisdom, for values, for ageless grace. Uncle Olu and Auntie Joke Jacobs, yours truly celebrates your love story. I am Timothy Sage. I tell wow stories, stories, stories. stories.